where in front of me you're about to see a section of the track at the National Sliding Centre in Yangqing, which is staging the bobsleigh and the luge events at the Beijing Winter Games. It's about to arrive as well. The 1,615 metre track is the first of its kind in the world to feature a 360 degree turn with a maximum gradient of 18% and contains 16 curves. Elena Anakina, president of the Russian Bobsleigh Federation, who was also the chairwoman of the board of the Sochi 2014 Big Committee, talked to my fellow sports scene host Wang Dong and praised the, ch the facilities in China, saying she's expecting more events to be held in these world-class venues in Right now, we're very happy to be joined by uh, Ms. Elena Anakina, president of Russian Bobsleigh Federation. Elena, good to have you with us. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Glad to see you. Thank you. Same here. So, Elena, tell us about what you think about the ongoing Winter Olympics in Beijing now that it's halfway through. Is it within your expectation or else? <laughs> it's beyond my expectations. I mm. should tell you that to host Olympic Games in modern conditions, especially during COVID, it's a miracle. And it's a real heroism. And I'm very grateful that China and International Olympic Committee managed to arrange it. I'm very proud that our president, the president of Russia, decided to come to China to be invited by your president. And he took part in the opening ceremony. He welcomed Russian athletes. What might be the thing or experience that has impressed you most? throughout the experience up to this point? Uh, first of all, uh, anti-COVID measures. I think that they are very nice. And uh, frankly speaking, I feel in the most safe way here in China than in any other country of the world. I'm tested every day and I see all people are in mask and uh, all, all demands are taken into account. Next, what impressed me always when I visited your country is your hospitality and your politeness. Why is Russia so strong in figure skating? You know, uh, we're talking about free skating, uh, you know, uh, dance and uh, singles, especially in singles. Why is that? Why can they carry this tradition so well and so intact in that fashion? I think that the main reason is because such sports like figure skating and hockey are very, very popular in Russia. Mm -hmm. And we have a long history of developing these sports. We have fantastic coaches and many parents bring their small children to these sports. What should China continue to do to keep the uh, winter sports, if you will, including bobsleigh, skeleton, luge, and other events growing uh, in a sustainable way, if you will? Just go on doing what you are doing now. And I think we should try and use the opportunity to exchange uh, our tracks, our coaches, to visit places of each other, have common trainings. It always is very, very useful and it can be good, uh, very useful for both of our countries. Your facilities, sport facilities, are very, very nice. I think that they are the best in the world now. And I'm sure that uh, international federations will ask you to host as many events as possible. You've been so kind, really. So, Elena, upon the conclusion of the Winter Games on February the 20th, what kind of memory would you like to have about this Games? Well, of course I would like to have one medal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope I will have it in bobsleigh, mm -hmm. in, in men's bobsleigh. Mm -hmm. It will be the best memory for me personally. A there little bit know. selfish, I understand. No problem. The rest I already, I already will have, I, as I told you. Nice facilities, great hospitality, interesting competitions. I hope that everyone will be healthy, which is the most important now in our days. And I hope to visit your country and your sport competitions again and again in future. I will always be happy to visit your country and to take part in any sport events.